Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Now, where's Adam? <clears throat> I don't know where Adam is. <laughs> I don't know where he's gone. Oh, well, I guess we can... I can get started without him, I guess, <laughs> until he arrives. Um, oh, so how is everybody? <clears throat> uh, ah, there he is. Adam, come on up. Hey! I left uh, talking to Wax about this. What? what? <laughs> this better be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's wonderful to have everyone here. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, yeah. By the way, I love, uh, I was just, uh, do you mind if I bring up the little, uh, I said I was um, sitting in on the Mike Pollock and uh, Ryan Bartley thing. Yeah. And, and Andrew was telling me, I'm going to, I'm going to tell this quote because it's a funny story. Literally just now, he's been told, you know, can't have people like who avoid, do you mind, don't mind me telling me this, do you, telling anyone this, do you? We're doing a meet and greet now, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was I was just saying it was a, it was a funny little story. I like telling funny little stories, but okay. So what? So what do we do on the meet and greet? This is uh, I'm quite new to this. <laughs> well, this is uh, where people get to meet us and ask us questions and anything. And there's only there's only like four people in the audience. <laughs> I know that's because you've got people like you've got other people in the back. But yeah, Josh is here. Wonderful to have yeah. to have Josh turn up. It's I was really, I'm really surprised by that one. Do you think he'd be doing? You think, do you should be doing his own meet and greet? Oh, he is. He is. Yeah, he will. He will be good. So now, yeah, not done. Not done this much. Like literally, my my um my crutch when it comes to these meet and greets is I usually just sit there and I say, "Would you like me to draw you something?" But unfortunately, I can't do that right now. <laughs> so yeah. why don't you? Why don't you lead? Me lead. Okay. Yeah, you uh, lead. You've, you've done a very good job tonight. So we want you, want you uh, continue as you, as you started. Uh, okay. Um, hello, everybody. <laughs> Does anyone want to come up and speak with us? Just raise your hand. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing free sketches for everyone. Yes. Seeing as, there's so few, seeing as there's so few people here, right now, I will do free sketches for everyone. If yeah, you just tell me what you want, and I will get it done to you and sent it over by the end of the weekend. There you go. You want? You got a hand raise? I got you, bro. Uh, <laughs> hey, hello, Josh. How you doing? I'm doing fan. I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. How about y'all? Yeah, Cause... good. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't my question. Don't worry. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> But uh, I would say, um, I guess I could throw this question for both y'all here. Um, what made you first interested in um, in uh, how did how did y'all how how did y'all get yours um, start in voiceover? What made y'all interested in um, pursuing that? Can I can I lead this one because I've got I've got quite. I I think it's always funny if you have. Um, when I started out, basically, I was the uh, kid on the outside of the candy store looking in. And in a very funny way, like I would try to throw myself out there. I had other talents, but I would always try and get my, my foot in the door in voice acting. And it just never worked for the first few years. I worked with Samination, if that makes it. He does like um, uh, these Dead by Daylight animations that you might have seen on YouTube. He does those things now. Well, back in the day, he did a thing called Taco Man. And I used to do backgrounds for him, but I'd always bug him and ask him if I could do, uh, I'd always send him my demo reel and he'd always turn it away. <laughs> but I, when I started out, um, actually, I would, I would say I started out doing, and this might lead into things like funny stories. Um, I started doing sprite animations. And the first time I did voice acting was because I basically took on the roles that other people just didn't want to do. I'll I would do basically it. do that. It's like, no one wants to play this character. Oh God, I guess I'll just play this character. And then I would play the character. And that's actually how I met Andrew. So. Yes, that's how we met. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how we met. Somebody, somebody, to answer, somebody to answer the door, you know? <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> it, was, it was always the character who was always being a complete... What I really liked was... Uh, it had um, my writing because, of course, I wrote, you know, I wrote it and made it. It was, uh, it always had that tinge of British sarcasm about it. So I really stepped into those sorts of little, those sorts of characters. And like I said, it was just the characters that people didn't want to play. No one wanted to play the robot. No one wanted to play uh, 
Soldier B. No one wanted to play the the commanding character, you know, the commander of gun or something like that. Yeah. And so uh, that's how I started. I would just play all the characters that other people didn't want to play, and then I would ask other people if they had other had characters in their projects that uh, that other people just didn't want to be, and I would play those characters. I um, I uh, first Sonic project that I did that wasn't my own. I played. I don't even remember his name. It was in Sonic Archie Online, and it was the it was he was a penguin, and he had one line of dialogue. One line, <laughs> uh, one line, and I still remember it to this day because it was just one line. Marginally better than when a cult cliff threw him into a cliff. That's literally my my uh, my first time I ever did a non a Sonic project that wasn't my own, and I was and I was proud of that. <laughs> wow. Um, for me, uh, oh, how do I start? <laughs> I started off actually doing. Um, uh, actually, Sonic Redubs um, back in the day, which now I, I've got rid of that channel. That was way, way back. Um, a lot of people kept saying to me, like, oh, you should do voiceovers. You should look into it. And, you know, you're in that zone where you're not sure if you want to. You, you don't know what to do with your life. And then suddenly, um, my ex at the time got in touch with James Arnold Taylor through his website. And by luck, he replied. And then uh, we got in touch, had a conversation. He started like t- teaching me the ins and outs about voiceovers, how it works. And um, yeah, he just taught me everything, how we put demos together. And uh, I eventually led, got, well, got an American agency in London called the American Agency. Hey. Um, hey. The, and ar- then- the irony in that name is not lost on me. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, it started from there. I had auditions, but then I was auditioning from 2010 all the way to 2013, where I finally got my first like proper role. You know, so it took at least like three to four years to finally start yeah. landing something. Yeah, it'll, spend- it'll, it'll, it'll do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because the thing is, you spend more time doing auditions when you're still kind of new at the start than yes. actually doing the work. One hundred percent. I've got because I've gotten a fair amount of commercial copy. A fair amount of commercial copy. None of it I've booked yet. Uh, <laughs> but I plan on. But I know I'm still in the process of um, working on my actual reels and train. But this ain't this ain't about me. That's not the point. But uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. No, uh, plug plug. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> no, 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 I got my own meet and greet for that. <laughs> yeah. I'll plug whatever. Oh, I want. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we, me and Andrew are, are going to turn up on your panel to, and plug our stuff just just to break even. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it'll be me hosting the panel, so have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing. It's all up. We'll anyway. find a way. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. But anyway, yeah. uh, I think uh, yeah, that's that's yes, technically how oh. I got started. Really, and it's just been doing all sorts since then. Absolutely. It's, it's super, it's super sick. You've been able to work with James Arnold Taylor too, as well. Um, I know, uh, yeah. Cause I'm still like in my, I know I'm still myself in, um, <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm still, I'm still going through my train of myself, but I know I'm hopefully planning on having my reel done my next year, but I got my own meet and greet to talk about all that. So <laughs> I'll, uh, so I'm not going to take too much of that time here. I want to make sure there's other people that, that can get their questions answered and such, but, um, righty. In yeah. that case, I'm sorry. That's it. I was just saying, cool. <laughs> all righty. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking and enter the, uh, and go back into the stage to get other people a chance to, uh, raise their hand and or ask their text questions. So yeah, I will hop back in. Hey, we, I see a raised hand. There's uh, Olivia Games one two o eight or twelve o eight. Come Hello, on, up. Olivia. Welcome to welcome to our meet and greet. Hello. <laughs> we having we having technical difficulties. Can't hear anything. Neither can I. Let me let me send you back and then bring you back up, and hopefully it will work. Yeah. Testing. Well, there we go. I got it. There we go. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Mm. Oh, dropping in. Did we lose? Oh, oh, oh! There you go. There asking, you go. There I was go. just asking how how that I cannot speak. Sorry. Mm-hmm. No worries. <laughs> so this is a question for Andrew. Um, what has inspired you the most when voice acting and performing? Oh, what's inspired me the most? Uh, I say it's the it's it's 
bringing the characters to life. Um, when I bring a character to life, I embody that character. I study that character. Like when I do Sonic the Revo panels, for example, I I, I like to embody Sonic his spirit and soul. I like to I, I visualize him. Like here's some trivia for you. Sometimes I close my eyes when performing Sonic. <laughs> so um, so sometimes when I'm doing the voice, my eyes are shut. I'm visualizing him, the movements, the gloves, the the gestures, and I'm actually doing his gestures behind behind the mic. It just helps me feel more inspired with the roles, and it helps me want to keep doing more. That you sounds realize... awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You realize now, if I ever uh, if I ever have the privilege of voice directing you, Andrew, whenever uh, whenever you embody the character, I'm going to be making obscene hand gestures as you do the lines. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I can't help but prank you. <laughs> Sorry, just throwing um, my two cents in. <laughs> I thank you for the question. You're welcome, and it's an honour to meet you guys as well. Oh, that was nice well, to thank, you. thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. Oh my goodness! My hey, goodness who wants indeed. to come up next? <laughs> we, have a, we have we have a lot of competition today. <laughs> yeah, so much is happening at the same time. You yeah, got- yeah, that's that's the that's the main thing. And, Everyone's got their thing. I mean, oh, let's see who's in. Let's check a look at the inbox. Uh, oh, apparently, yeah. Uh, Josh was letting me know that I was um, late for. I was fashionably late for my own meet and greet. <laughs> yes, you were very late. I just. Yeah, well, was my I was, I was what? How how late was I? It was like a couple, I had trouble finding the place. And I know you're thinking, how can I possibly have uh, yeah, had I'm trouble just, finding the place? But yeah, uh, it's, it's it, like, yeah, genuinely, I, I I'd get lo- I'd get lost in a single bed in a single room. Um, well, if, uh, if until we've got some people, maybe we'd like to talk about a couple of stories about stuff. Cause we've, we've been around, we've, we've been talking, we've have a bit of history, don't we? You and I, we do, you, yes. I remember how you, you used to say, you know, you, you stopped doing your sonic dubs and you, you'd read stop redubbing stuff. But you know, that's how I actually discovered Andrew. Um, yes. I discovered Andrew yeah. and I, was I, I did my own sprite series and I was inspired by Alvin Earthworm, who did the oh, Super Mario yes. Brothers series. And uh, I always tried to like, but I was like, well, how can I be different? So I was like, he doesn't do voice actors, I do. So I went out and I looked for some really great voice actors. And at the time, I was using a guy who to play Sonic and. For lack of a better word, he was terrible. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mince words on that. He was pretty bad. So I was looking to try and find someone, and then I came across this little dub called Super Mario Bros Z dub, and there was this oh, little yes. voice, a uh, little vo- little. So- there was this character in it, you know, it's called Sonic the Hedgehog, and he was voice. And then I heard this voice, and I was thinking, that is exactly what I'm looking for in my Sonic, and so. I contacted him. He told me his name was because you went by something. You went by what was it? What was you called back then? Oh, I was the going. Name, I used to, yeah, my old name, yeah. Sonic King. Yes, Sonic King. You were known as Sonic. Yeah, you were just credited as Sonic King. Oh, no idea. And I, I said, I said, hey, Sonic King. He said, hi, my name's Andrew. And it's like, of course, I'd love to do this. And just so, and immediately after that, you were. Uh, we uh, just started collaborating on everything, and it was wonderful. You've done, you've like, I I think I've lost count in the amount of projects that you've done for me, and you know, vice versa. Yes, yes. Well, we didn't mm. actually meet face to face till the summer of oh. Sonic. Yes, it was. What was it like? Was it a year or so later? I don't know. Was it years later? That I know it was the. Later, yeah. It was the one was, in uh, yeah, one with Sonic Transformed came out, so, and Sonic Four Episode Two. Yes, yes, it was just around that time. I was yeah. um You were sitting there on the floor like, with a sign saying, Are you <laughs> Andrew? Yes. <laughs> yes. I saw the sign, I was like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been very embarrassed if I was looking for a different Andrew. Um <laughs> But yeah, it was like that was the first time we hung out properly. And uh, we could um you were like you showed off your different voices and uh we just we hung out for the first time ever, and that's that's that was the start of a friendship, really, our proper friendship, I would say. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, we've done a lot this year, actually, haven't we? we you came to oh. my screening for the f- film. And I saw you at yeah. the Sonic Slam Fest. Yeah, I was. Um, I was very busy then. I did. I barely got a chance to talk to you. I was busy entering a entering an art contest that, that I didn't even come in fourth for some reason. 
Mm. And, and, yeah. oh, and uh, Sonic the Comic Con this year. We've done three. Sonic the Comic Con. Yeah, that was when I got to uh, meet some of my heroes. And it's it's wonderful when you know, I at that point I was like considering giving up drawing because I people don't know I do I do other I uh, draw Sonic comics as well as do uh, voice work and um, I've been yes. working on a project for years and it just wasn't coming together because people don't know this about me uh, I have trouble with the inking and coloring process because I'm colorblind so it is so if I do do my own coloring it's it drags it down to a crawl mm. and so so uh, the project I've been working on how long have I been working on this project is it about three years oh, now is this the the big crossover yeah. one yeah, not, the big, cro- not the big crossover one it's um the crossover one comes on later but I had other ideas oh yeah, was like, yeah that one the, the comic yeah. I've seen you post around right that one yeah that one that one that's finally starting to come together uh, yeah, if I can find if I can find a colorist, I will still happily embrace them. But it's like I've got the characters, I've got everything. It's like it's slowly coming together. But that project, I was like that one had been that one was super stressful because I didn't realize that's that script changed so many times. And I've always said I've, Andrew will co- will confirm this for me. I've many mm-hmm. a times come up to say the script is almost done, and then I just scrap everything and I go back to the <laughs> go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Well, that's what happens as writers. Like, I've been writing uh, the Sonic specials for radio, uh, for Radio Harrow, a, a, a station that I do these shows on live uh, in um, in the UK. And uh, I've been doing these, like, Sonic specials currently, and the first three have been very successful. But writing them, they, they take a lot of time because you end up writing it, then you're like, oh, actually, that doesn't work, and the trim and cut, because with these Sonic specials, I have to squeeze them into that one-hour slot. So I have to make a lot of cuts, like some dialogue removed and everything. And it's the same with the fourth one right now. Like I'm working on a Sonic special four, um, which is currently, I don't know yet if I'm in that, but you know, (laughs) well, we don't know. Yeah. We don't know if Adam will be in it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's in the works and um, Mm -hmm. it's, it's going smooth so far. And Mm. um, yeah, I mean, Maybe I should share a sneak peek of the poster maybe at some point, or maybe I should share a sneak at peek. At some point, know. indeed. I think so. Um, he has been sharing it with me, and it looks amazing. Your friend is a very talented artist. Almost infuriating, Lisa. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, so for those who don't know, my friend uh, is called RQ. He's one of the IDW comic artists. He's a friend of mine from way back. I met him at a uh, Sonic London meetup. We just were friends hanging uh, I've known him, I think, for twelve years now. I think so. I've seen him. Ev- I've seen him like evolve and get to the level he's at now. Um, but yeah, he's he's he does the posters. He did the third one. Uh, he's on the fourth one. Um, I'm hoping he's going to stay on and do more. Uh, it's just quite cool to have someone from IDW now <laughs> doing the posters. Um, it's really amazing. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I shall show a sneak peek in the uh, Chaos Stage Room text. So anyone who's in this room gets a sneak peek of the uh, the, the poster. Uh, only a sneak peek, but yeah. Uh, let me just post it. Here is the sneak peek of the upcoming Sonic special. Make sure to delete it afterwards. Don't want. We don't want any Joey come lately. <laughs> uh, it doesn't give away too much, so I. I'm, it's fine. Yeah, um, I uh, I was I was very privileged to voice Metal Sonic in um in number three. Oh, yeah, that that is there it is. See, I I envy that. That is that is incredible. That is incredible line work. I um I'm I'm like the opposite of your friend in that way. In that I like I use very deep and thick line work. He's got, but he does so much with that beautiful line work. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, so an actual it conveys comment. depth. That's wonderful. <laughs> An actual comic artist is working on these uh, posters, and it's 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 a it's a it's an honor. It's it's amazing. Um, I, I'm not doing too bad myself when it comes to that stuff, am I? No, you do very good as well. Yeah, yeah. I was just talking about um, RQ's art. Um, just yeah, you should see the full po- poster though. It's 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 amazing. It shows you who's, who's in the story and. Who's going to be in the come plot. see come watch the special then then they will see the poster won't they <laughs> yeah i'm aiming and hopefully the release date is either the end of next month or it might be the first week of december so it's coming up very soon so so yeah 
stay in Africa as well. I went up. I'd do so much oh, more. Oh, we got Savannah. Oh, Savannah, Savannah she's, she's saying she wants to stay off because she... Look, right now, you can... Uh, you Right now, if you're, if you're engaging enough, you can use it, you can stay up here for a bit. It's not like like yeah, too much yeah. of an issue, is it? No, yeah, no, go, no. You, you go... You, no. You're not... You don't have a problem with that. Savannah, if you have something you want to say and you want to get... If you want to talk, that that's fine. We'll have yeah, you up here for a little bit. We're not... It's not like... um. It's not like a, one of the when you're with the VAs when there's so many people wanting questions. You can ask a, another question; that is no problem. Uh, engage engage yeah, with us. We really we really want to hear from you. And there's no such thing as a stupid yeah. question, as yeah, far as we're concerned. Want. We've got two hands. Hey, oh, who did you Let's let's bring oh, them up. Oh, we've got three hands. Hey, it's working. <laughs> Yay! Right. It's, we're getting there. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to pick uh, Peter. Peter, oh, I, met, I had the privilege of meeting this person only yesterday. So yeah, we, <laughs> we met yesterday. It was wonderful. We got to even know each other. <laughs> yeah. And I know Andrew as well from, I think, last year as well that we spoke uh, in text, I believe. This yes, is the guy did. I was talking about uh, when I said I knew a guy who voiced Sonic for me for so long. This was this was lit. This is him. I didn't realize you, you two were acquainted. Oh, yeah, we spoke. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we spoke. Yeah, like he's doing a really good job as you know, Sonic VA, and we even and I spoke to Adam. I think yesterday that we met, it was wonderful actually to get to know each other a little bit more. Mm. Mm. It was uh, it was so indeed. Oh, yeah. Yes. So it, yeah. one question I ha- well question I have is um, for um, I guess what. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Oh, the next five years. Uh, <laughs> hopefully doing more voice work. Hopefully be <laughs> in an animated, another animated film, because I've done one with uh, Paramount Pictures. Um, yeah, hopefully yeah. More, more, more exciting stuff, I guess. Maybe hopefully one day, I don't know, the Sonic specials to get picked up by Sega. <laughs> I don't know, and they become official. That'd be quite cool. <laughs> Senpai noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? So, is the question where where I would where I see myself because or where I'd like to see myself? Because those are two very set, very different things. Ooh, no, you put me in the spot as well. I have actually n- never got that question before. Um, but I guess both, if you want that way. But um, yeah, where, where I see my where I see, I can answer both if you prefer. Where I see myself is doing uh, exactly what I'm doing right now, but getting paid for it and doing it slightly better. Um, and where I'd like to see myself, oh, do you know what I would love? I, I have a feeling that at some point Metal Sonic is going to turn up in the uh, Sonic movies, and my I would love to be able to voice Metal Sonic in something you like mean that official. Metal Sonic in the movies? Yeah, if he turns up in the movies, I would love to be able to voice him in something. I'd love to be able to just voice him in an official capacity. Because that would be really cool to see, actually. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would, I would love that. Um, yeah, see, that's why it'd be cool if the Sonic specials get like picked up or licensed. <laughs> well, that's it's right. right. It's, it's like it's almost happened a couple of times because um, I was picked up by um, Summer of Sonic when they were doing the Metal Sonic theme, and I even recorded a bunch of stuff from, and then they just never used that stuff. Oh. And, uh, and the thing is, that was officially um, backed by Sega. So I, I use the word official there. <laughs> I, call it, oh. I would have used the word official. I was like, I recorded a bunch of stuff that was like, was, but then they just couldn't be bothered to edit it or put, put it together over the town eyes. But I, yeah, I would love to voice Metal Sonic or um, do more commercials because uh, I've done and I've done like two commercials. You know those com- you know those commercials where they just dub British voice actors over the actual uh, for a product yes. over American yeah. stuff. Yeah, I've I've done mm-hmm. two of those this year, and I really that I was nice to be in a profession. It was nice to be in a very professional environment. Not saying that you know other things I've done haven't been professional. It's just it was great yeah. to get that experience. So I'd love to do more of that. And get my name out there, but like the thing I want mo- most of all is to be part of uh, of the Sonic community in a actual official capacity in terms of voice work. Yeah. In terms of my artwork, I would like to do stuff something for IDW. That's where I want to be. You should send it off and see what happens. Uh, you never know. But like I said, it's just pencil work at the moment because, like I said, I'm colorblind. It's it's a it's a massive crippling thing. 
I'm going to have to overcome first before I I think I send it off. Oh, that's it, 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 no. Yeah. Look, it just me. It just means that I'll make a much. It'll make a much better story when I get there. <laughs> it's not one of the things you go. Ah, oh. one of the things you go. Oh, oh. I know you do well. Like yeah, um, we've got Ian here. Ian Flynn is here in um, you know, in Where this chat. He? he can probably <laughs> help you one day. Yeah, he might help you. He might he, he might help you out. I, he I, might I, guide I, you. He may guide you, like being like, okay, this is how you do in writing. This is what we need to do. He'll help you, man. Teach me, senpai. Teach me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, honestly, woke up here in a beautiful morning. Obviously, like I was just a little bit with the grand opening this morning at four in the morning, but couldn't stay up. So I had to sleep. I, I've, I uh, literally came from work after like a, after like a 12 hour shift and went and got some sleep before came, coming here. So I know what that feels like. Yeah. yeah. Tell me brother. <laughs> you, I, I must say uh, extra round of applause for you for, cause considering the time difference, I thought it would be hard for me because of the time difference. I can't imagine what it must be like for you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh God! Like, yes, I had a day off for the last four days at work, but you know the thing is, it's like you're trying to stay up, you're trying to be excited for it, but the next thing you know, you're just like, oh, I'm so tired, I need to go to sleep. But I was yeah. able to wake up for the um, season three, Cindy Robertson's and Mike. That that was, but Cindy was incredible. I don't know if you guys were there. No, I was. Um, I, wa- I was Mike. lucky enough to be there. I got. I even got called up. Even though um, I've, I've called, it, yeah, I got called up, which is why, you know, it's like really, it Andrew. Uh, apparently, uh, voice actors weren't supposed to be called up, but I got to ask a very nice question. I think it's because it was text based. That's probably what got it, got me yeah. on there. So I got very lucky to be able to ask him my question. Yeah, that's fair <laughs> enough. No, I spoke with Mike two times. He chose me the second time. I try to remember. No. I even have a recording from memory, but it, it was <laughs> incredible at the time. See, that's you um, the thing. I've... Say, you know what I say though. Mm. It doesn't. Ma- I remember speaking to Corey Homicide Williams in IRL, and he used to be an NBA basketball player back in the nineties, and in the two thousands he was a National Basketball League. And one mm. of the things he told me was that you just be yourself. That's the most important thing you can do, even if you're yeah. famous or not famous. If you're being yourself, people respect you more for who you are. Yeah, that's true. You be true to yourself. Always true to yourself. Hundred percent. Like I said, I've met top chief executive officers and top multi billionaires, and they actually helped me and a couple of other people in the group who actually to improve our lives, to become better, and to improve on a lot of things that what people don't do today. I'll be right yeah. back. Give me two minutes. That's all right. Sure. Well, um, thanks for your question. I see two other hands raised, so I'm just going to bring them up. Yeah, no problem. You go ahead. Thank you for calling me uh, up here. Hey, you're welcome. If you have another we question, lovely, just... We had a lovely <laughs> talk and a question as well. Yeah, fantastic. All right, uh, I'm going to choose... Ooh, there's uh, three hands now. Uh, Mystic Robert, come on up. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just having a good time at Sonic Revo online. Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, um, nice to meet you, Adam. So let me see. Hey, For my question, just, uh, yeah, Adam's just gone to the toilet. I think. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I think Adam's just gone to the toilet. I think he's he's there, but he's not there. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Oh, there we go. He's back now. Oh, okay, I was like, <laughs> oh, sorry about I... that. Uh, sorry about that. There's no, 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 no worry. Metal, Metal Sonic is a is a uh, is a machine that never requires any sorts of bre- any t- kinds of breaks, but unfortunately, I do. <laughs> yeah. Mystic Robert, um, hello, hey Robert, how's it going? Yeah, also good to see you, Andrew. Um, but let me it's see. see My question for both of y'all, um, and it's only going to be one question. So for both of you guys, um, since I know that both of you are based in the UK, would you say that it's uh, how can I say this? Because I know that you've, like, Andrew, you work as a voiceover artist, and then Adam, you work in comic books. Do you find it to be, like, what would you say are some of the biggest challenges when it comes to doing remote work being based in the UK? 
if that makes sense. Oh, oh, oh trust me, this this is a very good one. Can I can I start? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go take ahead. it away. Yeah. All right. It is very very difficult for a I will I, for a English not impossible. Not impossible. There have been people who've uh, who from the UK have gone on to do stuff that's like mm, has the word mainstream. Um, when you start off like in the UK with voice acting, uh, you don't you don't get the you don't get your anime auditions. You don't get all the video games so much. Um, you have to try and I would say you'd have to try and roll with the blows. I uh, my. Like I said, uh, the first time I did stuff was just literally the other stuff that other people didn't want to do in fan projects. And then my first thing that I did when I was a uh, a voice actor was I did skeleton lines, which is where you just you fill in for a celebrity and then someone and then when they want to get the ahead of the animation and then they would replace you with that other um with that celebrity and your what your work would never see the light of day. It's um it oh, is yeah. kind of difficult. At least it's been very difficult. Um, but like I said, not impossible. And I think it's all about determination and just going with what you, with your, you know, your, your passion, you should do it. You should do it for passion, not recognition, recognition or, or the, the want to be on the the thing. You should love what you do in every, uh, sense of the word. And I, I love what I did. I got to do, um, I got very lucky. I got to do like fill-ins for like a couple of celebrities that I could do impressions of. And, um, and so it's like, it was wonderful to be able to see them and I'd make people laugh and you're just enjoying yourself. Yeah. And so that, that's been my experience, but Andrew's been, Andrew's been a lot more, Andrew's had a lot more success than I have when it comes to stuff like that. He's, he's been in video games and movies and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, it's it's still difficult though. You spend, like I say, you spend more time doing auditions um, because there's the callbacks within the callback within the callback. Um, so it's and the UK sadly doesn't get enough. Um, like we get a lot of commercials. There's a lot of commercial work. There's a lot of um, you know live action stuff. There's a lot of you know BBC dramas and whatnot. You know, so there's a lot of on screen stuff and a lot of dubbing on screen stuff. But there's not enough animation, and you might get the rare video game. Um, I was told there's uh, an increase in video games at the moment mm. in the UK, uh, especially for creatures, <laughs> creature sounds. Well, I, I, ha- I auditioned for Baldur's Gate three, so oh, there you didn't go. get it. Didn't get it, but it's like the I think yes. uh, with the I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Well, they wanted real, they wanted real British voice actors to do to do that stuff. I think I think luckily <laughs> this is where uh, can I can. I, Sorry to interrupt, Andrew. I didn't know if you were done. Yeah, I just I, couldn't. I wasn't, I wasn't done, but <laughs> you, you go ahead and you finish your thing, and I'll, I'll finish my story in a second. I so I've sorry, so sorry. I, I interrupted. I apologise, man. I think I've lost track. Um, <laughs> I was talking about saying about yeah, how difficult it is. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah that's you don't get you don't get vi- you get very few video game roles. You were saying you. Yeah, that's, that's it. Video game roles are, are picking up though, because I had quite a few for like Nintendo and stuff, and. Uh, Mm. Um, but yeah, you just, it's just—it's a process where you audition for one, and then you have to audition for the second audition, then you have the third audition, and then, then mm. they might pick you in the last last one. But um, that's why that's why you get thankful for the things you do get, like you know the film I did with Paramount Pictures, Capture the Flag. Um, you know, I I was picked as Bill Gags and many other auditional voices, and it was really fun to be in. In fact, the security guard I voiced—if you look at his uh, name tag, it has my name on him. It says Andrew. Which is which is quite cool to see in the movie. <laughs> was that an intentional tribute to you or something? It, it, it must have been because the character is called Joe. So it's <laughs> yeah, that must be because if it was a, if it was like the original, like from where the original where, where the film was made, it wouldn't have had that sort of name. You got exactly. a tribute in the film, like you never mentioned that. Why well, I, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't notice until I put my show yeah. together. I was like, "Hold a minute, that's my name on his tag," yeah. and yet his name's Joe. <laughs> to go <laughs> and uh, to go to loop it up around a bit, I yeah. think um, what's been very lucky in the last couple of years is the prevalence of Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy-based stuff. Yes, yeah, um, so has really been work. Back in the day, if they had a British thing going on, like Black Butler. They would just get the Funimation group to do very bad British accents. Now they genuinely look for for voice actors who are British to do this. Like I said, I I'm I'm a nobody, 
barely had a role in my life in my life. I managed to get myself an audition for Baldur's Gate. Didn't get didn't get it. Didn't even get a call back, but the a lot of people who did. I think everybody, I think I think like the majority of the people on Baldur's Gate are actually of British origin. So I think with the prevalence and the reemergence of fantasy based video games that Brit that the the Brits are coming back, baby. <laughs> um yeah. So I think that answers, does that answer the question? <laughs> it does. And going back to the when you were at the security guard, I kind of think they did it as a tribute because they knew it's, there's no way it can't be a coincidence. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it's yeah, a very strange go. thing because his, his, his name tag says my name, but the character is called Joe. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> But you go that, yeah. that's that's what we call an Easter egg, Andrew. You're officially you're you're an Easter egg. I'm an Easter, Easter egg. egg. <laughs> yeah. But thanks for answering oh. the question. And um Does it help at all? The rest yeah, it does. <laughs> um <laughs> thanks for answering and have a fun Sonic Revo online. I'm terrible with outros. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, Thank you so very much. Am I, and I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm up here. <laughs> oh, so. Right. Is anyone else? Oh, we, uh, Olivia has another question. We'll bring Olivia back up. Hello again. Uh, hi again. Hello, hi, Olivia. Olivia. Hi. I think the. Uh, uh, I can't oh, hear sorry. anything. <laughs> you can't hear anything. I can. I can hear her just fine. Shall I translate for for you, Andrew? Are you? Are you can hear her. Yeah, I can hear. Her. Okay, yeah, I, I can't hear anything. It must be my <laughs> Discord. Wait, what? I can hear yeah. her, so I'm going. I'm going to play. I'm going to play uh, translator to Andrew because Andrew can hear me. Yeah. He can't hear you, but I can hear you. So <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> oh God! Oh, okay, God. go and translate. <laughs> so for the both of you, uh, what was your favorite moment that happened this year? So for the both of us, Andrew, what was our favorite moment that happened this year? Oh my gosh. Favorite moment that happened this year? Uh, um, oh, I must say a lot of the panels in Revo have been really fun this year. Um, I really enjoyed the Sonic and Surge two. Um, that panel was just really fun. Uh, it was also fun to do that re like rewind noise. That when you rewind something, I was like, that was really fun to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think a lot of the panels have been really fun. Um, if you go by like outside of the Sonic Revo stuff, um, my screening from a short film that was that was great. Um, which you, Adam, you were there. Um, yeah, that, that was that was that was the highlight for me this year. And uh, the Sonic Special Four working on that is uh, is is a highlight as well. Which I I really look forward to sharing it with everybody. I think everyone's going to love it. You know, it's 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 a turning point to being uh, a bit more epic in scale. I think. Um, so this could be the turning point of more audio-based drama Sonic specials instead of the usual talk show stuff. So mm. we might have a change. Yeah. Well, I um, I suggested something to you, didn't I? That I think we should honestly do. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Involving playing video games <laughs> in character. <laughs> oh, so, what Sonic and Metal review games? Yeah, not review, play games, and yeah, just. <laughs> Back and forth, because I think, um, thanks to Sonic Revo, I've established my own version of metal. <laughs> A very sarcastic metal. Yes. Mm. <laughs> That'd be fun. But, I mean, would people, does anyone here want to see that, Sonic and Metal Sonic playing games and reviewing games? <laughs> Please let us know in the I think, it'd be, I think it'd be it'd be one of those things where it's like, I would try to outdo you in all the ways possible. Okay, we've got yes, oh, absolutely, kind of yes, and yes, thumbs up. I think we should at least give it a couple of episodes. Why, you know, my, my, you ask why, I ask why not. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I would love to see that in the future. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was the, the, the content getting us? Best part, I didn't ask, answer it yet, have I? My best I thing know. that happened this year was probably not, I didn't, not very, not voice actor relate, relate. As a matter of fact, like this year has been, I've, I've had a lot of turn downs. And, and I know every every voice had to go through that, but um, I think the best thing that happened to me this year was I uh, won. I got to go finally meet them, who at my lowest personal lowest point managed to give me the inspiration. He didn't even know he was doing it at the time, 
Um, I had to be, I took my art with me. I was, I'd reached a point. I'd literally just finished like a ton of work and my dog came up and whittled all over it. So it was like six months of work down the drain. I was ready to quit. And the very next day I had the convention that uh, Andrew attended as well. And yes, I had yeah. to be pretty much talked into showing my what remaining artwork I had left over to Richard. And if for those of you who don't know, Richard did the, was the main artist on Fleetway Sonic the Comic. He were he is like his work is like was my inspiration, my hero. Fire, you know that he was literally the. I'd met all the other people from from STC from Sonic the Comic. I uh, had, but Richard never did conventions, so he was literally the reason I was there. And they convinced me to talk to him. And Ooh. and they convinced me to show my you you were there you you were one of the people who convinced me to do it um, convinced me to show my work to Richard um. and uh, I showed my work to Richard and he looked at it for a very long time we spoke for about a good twenty minutes and uh, in the end the only reason we stopped talking was because the person with the usher was like say come on come on we got other people um, and he was just he gave me the inspiration I needed he said I was uh, ta- incredibly talented. And that I should really keep going at what I did. And so I did. And after that, I got picked up by Archie Online, Sonic the Comic Online, and I just recently joined Sonic Legacy as all as pencil artists. So I am going to be working as a pencil artist on Archie Online, Sonic the Comic Online, and Sonic Legacy. Mm-hmm. And without those mo- without that moment, I I don't know where I would have been. So I wanted to thank. So you know, it was great to be. So I owe Richard all that, and I owe Andrew all that because he was one of those people who booted me up, booted me up the bum, and told me to go and uh, show him. Yes, right when I was I at my last point. Actually, I actually kicked him in real life. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't you, really. you, grabbed, you grabbed me by the sh- you grabbed me by the shoulder and pushed me out of the chair. <laughs> I didn't actually do that. I just said you should do it. No, you did. You did. You did. You actually <laughs> put my hand on the shoulder and said, "Go, go, join, go, join the queue before it gets too long." You said, "Oh, I, d- I don't remember that." <laughs> yeah, it was the. You're not. You're not the most. You're not. That was. It struck me because that that it was. It felt a little. Out, that was what could pretty much convinced me to do it because it was felt a little bit out of character for you because you wouldn't normally be that sort of person to just. Oh wait, no, uh, yes, I did. I remember, yeah, I was in a, yeah. I was in a good mood. I was in a, <laughs> I was in yeah, a couple you of, it's just like you, you, yeah. one of those things, it's like. I was like in a motivator yeah. that day. I was like, you should do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> so my, my lowest moment became my, it was followed immediately by my, by my greatest moment, by the greatest moment this year. So, and I, I owe that to Andrew and a couple of other people I met at that convention. So, yes. so yeah, wouldn't be, wouldn't be doing the things I'm doing right now. And uh, yeah. sharing my art with people. Well, thank you for your question, Olivia. Thank you again. Obviously, I can't hear her. So <laughs> I'm like, well, she's saying you're welcome. That, that, that's got to be a you problem. <laughs> it is a you problem. It's my side. It, it's it's my Discord. She, she's, uh, she's she's giggling in a, in a sort of a <laughs> embarrassed sort of way, and uh, 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 more giggling in an embarrassed sort of way. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think I think I think I think we can stop here because otherwise it'll just be that yeah, on repeat. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think we still got time for a little bit more. Does anyone want to just come up, have a chat, say something? Savannah, oh, Savannah, here we go. I, 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 this I've, I've get up here. I've... Come on up. Oh, um, I think I hear something. <laughs> Not sure anymore. <laughs> uh, I can't. There we go. Uh, there hey, we go. Can you hear that? I can, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, Savannah, what, what are you up here for? <laughs> no, I mean, just like you said, I'm just here to chill. <laughs> hey. you, must have, you must have something. Well, you must have something for us. Anything. <laughs> We should call this the chill at the chill with uh, uh, Adam and Andrew. <laughs> the greet and chill. The greet and chill. With, the greet and chill with optional Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag not, hashtag not sponsored. If you've got a question for us, that's fine. If you've got if you've got a request for us, that's fine. Because I've yeah, got yeah. I've literally, yeah, Adam, I've literally I've, Adam draws, so you can get a free drawing from Adam. He'll draw you something yeah. absolutely. Free. And I will also I've also got my voice changer on standby if you uh want want me to break that out as well. 
Yeah, and I, I sent it in your DMs. Oh, oh, did you? Did you do? Oh. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, you, you asked me to do something, um, super, something about being superior. Can I? Can I quote uh, Soundwave from Transformers? Uh, okay. All right. It's like it's like one of the... metal superior, Sonic inferior. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice metal. <laughs> It will become the ultimate overlord. Yeah, you're going to become the ultimate fail when I smash you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun doing this. It's, it, it's fun bouncing off with everybody. Everyone, everyone here is so great. It, it's, it's great It is fun. wonderful. Yeah. We got we got no pro- we got no problem doing voices. We're, we're, we're perfectly fine doing uh, taking requests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least this time. I have I I break out I I uh, I never I never I never pretend that I'm not delighted to be asked to do the voice. <laughs> Any excuse for me? This meeting, <laughs> this meeting greets hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I mean, I'm having a lot more fun. Than yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun as well. This is great. <laughs> I, I, it's like the saying, isn't it? Less is more. You know, you get Less more. Is all. If it's yeah. well, it's like so you get. It's nice to be able to chill out with a few with people. You got to do it. Oh, you! Got to, I just noticed Doom, the meme queen, right in the in our hey. audience, and they haven't said a word. Yeah, <laughs> thinking they could get by, probably, probably, where's probably grading Charmy? us. Where, where's Charmy B? Where's the buzz, buzz? <laughs> Gotta get the buzz on. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I was surprised. Like, I'm, surp- I'm surprised just going around. To be honest, let every- just uh, maybe we should end it by letting everyone in. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's, 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 how about this? We'll end it with everyone in the text chat. You, you say something you want Sonic and Metal Sonic to say, and we'll say it. Hey, Obviously, Pete's just got another what? question first, though. But maybe we could make bring them back in. Uh, he's got his, he's got, the, he's got the, his hand up. Yeah, I guess so. We've got five minutes left. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can I can answer it. I will speed up things. Yes, be really quick, Adam. <laughs> okay. Vita, hello. Welcome back in. Hello, welcome back. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, um, yeah, it would be, I know, um, what you call it, it'd be really funny, yeah, uh, what you call it, uh, what is it, Middle Sonic and Sonic having uh, such a big argument about, um, something so stupid i don't know like that's why i want to do the let's play channel because i think it would be a great opportunity to be very to be very petty and very childish let's I do that. See, i know right i could see the animatics right now let's 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 I make know, I imagine let's like i don't know that what you call love of goodness <laughs> you've ruined my souffle Hey, you, I, I, you're the one who put it in front of me, man. I, I, I want to. I told done. you to not be involved in this. You're supposed to keep it on a certain thing. It's supposed to be light and fluffy. However, you turn around and you have ruined it, as it would be uh, as would be expected from such an inferior life form, the foul, loathsome faker that you are. Wow, you, jeez, no, I, I didn't expect it to be. I, I wanted the chili dog. You know, I said, bring me a chili dog, and you bring me this. I like to it's experiment. Fun. Unlike you, I actually like to expand beyond my regions. It's supposed to be light and fluffy, just like your head. My, f- my head's not light, light and fluffy. It's quite, no, it's got some what, what's supposed to be happening between your ears certainly is. You know what, Metal? I liked it when you were British. You know, me with that British accent. You sound much, more, like, much nicer, you oh, know? Oh, that... I am I so thankful that my I am so thankful that my voice modulator was fixed. I can't imagine living with that kind of voice for my entire life. <laughs> that was that for a random skit. <laughs> I think that was pretty good. <laughs> no, no, but honestly, that was pretty good. I feel it's like we're on an epi- I feel like we're on an episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway. <laughs> we have three minutes yeah, left. I saw, so I saw Doom wanted to come what? up as well, and then she raised her hand out. So, oh well, yeah, yeah. She, everyone's more than welcome to come up if, if yeah, they yeah, want to come. Doom, if you want to come up, you can give us one more scenario. You're more than welcome. We, we, you are, you are, um, you are guest royalty right now. Yeah. So feel free to come up. Raise your hand. We have 
Two minutes left. <laughs> Don't be afraid uh, to text. There we go. There we go. Hi. Hi. Excuse me. Ooh. I don't um, hear anything. I hear nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, you're sort of coming in for me. Are they, is she, is she, are they coming in for you? A little bit, yes. Lance literally, is here. Oh. Literally there we go. When I was about to, literally, when I was about to leave, you just noticed I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? what? You how, about, how about this? Sonic okay. and Metal Sonic are playing a game, and Metal Sonic wins. How would that go? All right, lead. Let's go. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, ah, uh, yeah, oh, everybody super sonic no, racing. No, 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 Trying to keep their feet right on the ground. No, I am totally no, 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 no. This is embarrassing. <laughs> that dance. I hate that dance. Don't ever do that. It, it's 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 offensive. I'm going back and forth. You cannot keep bring me down because I totally beat you because I'm the superior Sonic. Yeah, woo! Yeah, knew it. Totally. You got P O B W N E D pawned. I win ultimate life form. Where are you when I need you? I need you here, Tails. Please destroy Metal Sonic for me. He's 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 doing that dance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know, know. I, just, where, I didn't know where that was going to go, but even I was surprised where it went. <laughs> that was I. And that's I just it. wanted to make this quick. <laughs> this perfect. is what the, you can you can hear all of that and more on our new Let's Play channel. That, does, that, we've, just, <laughs> that we've totally oh, just decided that I've totally just decided is, is a thing, and I'm going to convince Andrew to do it because <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to. That's <laughs> that is exactly why that that I think now Andrew understands exactly why I want to do it, I, I, and you yeah. have made that a reality. Thank you. So, yes, um, you persuaded me. So yeah, y'all are running out of time, so I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, time for us to wrap up. Um, right. Oh well. Um, uh, uh, maybe uh, we could do a quick fire round. You know, run a little. Maybe just run one minute over. Uh, any quick lines that people want us to do yeah. can do in the chat. Is there anyone coming in here after, like right now, or? or? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I, th I think we're we're last. Uh, no, no, no. We have to go. I think someone's coming up. Okay then. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. We're right, being ushered uh, out. Yes. So, thank you uh, for those who came in. <laughs> thank you, fair. It's, it's small. It's it's small. But to be fair, a lot was going on. We have Sonic villains and everything. So, um, and we yeah. have the wax over in another one. Yeah, with the wax and another one. So no, um, yeah, we're just trying to make you feel guilty for joining us for the evening now. <laughs> we're not. We're not. Um, <laughs> but to be fair, thank this every out single really one of you who bought, who 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 joined in. Seriously, it means the world to me. Yeah, thank you for joining us. It, it, yeah, it means it means a lot to us. And um, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. I guess. Right, so. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, come yeah, stay tuned for the Sonic Special 4 coming soon. It features a lot of recognizable voices like uh, a Blue Moon, 88 is Tails, she's back, and as well as many others. So, yeah. And don't forget to keep your eyes open on Sonic Archie Online, Sonic the Comic Online, and now Sonic Legacy for the name Adam Haywood uh, pencils, because I will be bringing you some new Sonic art in the near future, and I hope you will join me on those adventures that we will be doing together. Yes. Well, uh, do we just go or someone's supposed to come in and tell us to go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think, Andrew, we have supposed to have some sort of big, massive send off in a way of sort of like, like a catchphrase or something like uh, uh, for now it is good night. We have to carry on and we will guys, we will see you all later. Hopefully see you at the con. If we see yeah, you in some sort of free channel, say hello, talk to us. We're not, wait, we're not wait, beyond wait, wait. approach. You should say this. You should say it in your metal sonic voice. All right. Uh, I think I close. I think I closed the app. <laughs> no, no it, it, it's there. I just need to open it up. All right. But the thing is, I can't sound wholesome and approachable while doing this. Vo doing that voice I easily. I don't know. All right. The Metal Sonic. Do you have right, Metal hang Sonic? Hang on, hang on. I'll, I, there's one version of the Metal Sonic voice I can do without the uh, voice. <laughs> All living things come approach me during the convention. I am totally approachable. Watch out, everybody. He bites. <laughs> See you guys later. Absolutely love you. Until Bye. next time. 
See ya. Bye.